Find a cipher. I bet I. What was that? Almost ready. I still can't read the- What is that? It smells awful. Poison. Here. Boy. Look! It's the World Serpent. He's so much bigger than I imagined. Oh, look! He bit Thor! Or will bite him. Looks like. language cipher. We should look for more like this. <gasps> oh, what were those things? They smelled awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one who showed me how to disable them. <laughs> what? It's just funny to think of her teaching you something. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left its father before she died. 
face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. <gasps> Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah. But can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. Filthy. Okay then. I'll just I will just Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madurin Sem Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, and Don't I... touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. I suppose you prefer my brother's work? <laughs> You're wrong, of course. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean... Boy. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Nice shot!
You think all dwarves are as good as Brock and Sindri? No. Wonder why they don't get along. Yet. I mean, they're family. That is their matter alone, boy. Okay. Please be careful! I'm still fixing that! Stupid head chief. Tell me what's wrong with you! Follow me, Atreus. I can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are. Yeah. <laughs> 
something to get through this one. I think for this last leg up the mountain that maybe I can carry her? I told you no. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting alone. It would serve you to stop talking.
this place. I can see why Mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Wonder if Sindri knows his sky movers tangled with roots of this. I doubt it. How are you going to get it to work? I do not care. Is that... smoke? Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy, saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while.
We'll use this. Graythar. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Just give that a turn. There. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Yeah. Destined to kill each other from Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the World Serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back at all. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Leosa! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. It doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. <laughs> now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. <laughs> What? The whole entire bridge is turning. 
How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Did Vanier magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build tier stuff? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leosta. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. Talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. Approach the table. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the Light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth. Growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. 
But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgar. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Follow me. But my frost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of all time. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of all time, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Okay. What is that? <laughs> I think you killed it. Look up there. Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. Here. Boy. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the life. I don't get it. Both sides need it. Why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. They keep murdering the light ups. It is war. The end of one. The rope once lost.
they attacking us for? We didn't do anything. More will come. Yeah. Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. Another cipher piece. I'll see what I can fit together. At least we're getting closer to the light. Wait, is that Shinji? Our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic, but... Uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well, it's your neck. <laughs> You don't need to make excuses to say hello. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Your mother speak of this realm. Not much. Just that since the elves are always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated.
There's something down there. Huh? Again, I said nothing. Where? Could have sworn you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices! You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... evil. talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. and I'll find two. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But there's any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. Sad the elves can't work things out. I'll find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child in war. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. We covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Did something, I think. Here we go. <laughs> 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 
Together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come back to the sand bowl. I see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. Enough. Stories are for the boat. We must focus. Father! The pillars and ring form an elvish room. Draw it. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. hard to make out, but way in the back I'm pretty sure I heard mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. Who I want he looks different. Know. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Cages. Oh 
that was worth it. Betray us to me. Okay. Tricky. There we go. That side hallway will get us to the temple? 
We will find out. You were wrong back there. Oh. Um, I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine.